Hello students today we are going to learn this chapter and that is chapter number 4 sorting material into groups of class 6 science so this chapter is purely based on activities so we will do activities on the following topic and they are appearance hardness and solubility so let's start so children let's see the properties of material when we talk about the properties of the material the first property is called appearance appearance is the first property fine appearance means dikhne mein so when we talk about appearance children we can see two things either the thing is shiny or the thing is not shiny theek so if a thing is shiny it is known as lustrous lustrous means chamakne wali fine let's see some of the lustrous material so your gold coin so your gold coin your silver coins see gold coins silver coins silver foil your spoon your utensils can you see that they all are shining chamak hai na isme so they are known as lustrous these are called lustrous a gold plating can you see a gold plating here so these are lustrous lustrous means they are shiny in appearance when we talk about pebbles pebbles means patthar aap le lijiye ya aap lakdi ka tukda le lijiye ya if you see a sand or a mitti then you will find ki inme koi chamak nahi hai so when there is no shine it is known as non shiny or non lustrous so on the basis of appearance things can be classified as lustrous and non lustrous now one example children i have kept here i have kept knife in between so so this portion of knife front one is shiny or lustrous whereas the back portion is non lustrous so knife is the best example so after appearance the next property is hardness when we talk about hardness children we feel that there are few things around us which are hard whereas there are few things which are soft so when we talk about this property we will find it is categorized in two part one the things which are hard and other the things which are soft so let's take few things so i have taken here cotton so i have taken here cotton children and now try this cotton to press this so try the cotton to press you can see that you can easily press the cotton now let's take another example take your favorite soft toy and try to press when you press you will find that you can easily compress it when you easily compress anything it is soft so i am keeping here soft side whereas let's take the example of a pebble pebble ko lo aur ise press karo try to press try to press you can't press when you can't press anything that means it is hard okay it is hard let's take one more example i have taken my marker now i'm trying to press my marker i'm trying 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 but i am unable to compress so this is the best example of hardness fine so hardness can be categorized in two parts whether the thing is hard or a thing is soft if we compress the thing is soft if we can't compress the thing is hard now let's see another activity so coming up next in the third property so what is the third property of a material that is solubility now we will see the solubility so according to solubility the material can be categorized in two ways one whether the material is soluble second whether the material is insoluble so let's check with the help of different examples so whatever things i have taken you also take this things and do this with me fine so first i have taken soil this is soil children so you can take soil in a bowl or in a container next i have taken uh, salt you can also take uh, sugar or salt next i have taken oil you can take oil fine next i have taken vinegar this is vinegar children so next i have taken vinegar 
fine and i have taken water so let's revise once again what we have taken we have taken sand or soil we have taken salt or sugar we have taken oil and vinegar now let's check the solubility now let's take a water water lenge and then we will put some soil inside the water so see i have put the soil inside the water and then i am going to stir stir it so that it can easily dissolve okay now see and keep it safely for some time let's see the another one so in this water i am going to put to put some salt see stir it properly and then keep it aside now in the next one this one i am going to put i am going to put some oil so see i have put some oil inside it have you seen the oil oil is remain on the top of the water so again keep it for some time now next take a vinegar and put in a water and pour the vinegar in a water and then mix it gently now children you can see there are 1 2 3 4 4 solutions are there one is a soil solution other is a salt solution third is a oil and water solution and fourth is a vinegar and water solution so what is the conclusion conclusion is that bachcho there are few material which are soluble like if you see the salt salt is fully disappeared in water salt is fully disappeared children in water whereas if you see the sand or soil it remains settled down at the bottom it is not disappeared if you see the oil oil is remain on the top of the water see it is on the top aur kyun reh jata hai top pe pata hai bachcho because the oil has less density jo oil hote hai they can float why because they are less density than or they are less denser than water see it remain on the top of the water it is not mixed whereas if you see vinegar it is whereas if you see the vinegar and water solution it is completely mixed so what we have learned we have learned two words here one soluble other insoluble so let's keep the soluble things salt solution was soluble fine and the vinegar solution was soluble fine whereas whereas the sand solution was insoluble this was insoluble and oil and water was in so this what we have learned the materials they have the property of solubility that some are soluble in water and some are in